Hi, this is Truman from SurveillanceWare.com, and this is a review of the K16 keystroke recorder. Settings window is the first window you see when you start K16. And I'm going to go through the options for you. Uh, you check this if you want to run at Windows Startup, and that would just mean that whenever the OS restarts, this program will start automatically. Uh, you can uh, check that or uncheck it. Uh, I usually leave it checked. I'm just having it unchecked right now. You can also run it hidden at startup. So if you want to run both of these together, the program will start when the Windows OS restarts, but it will also start hidden so nobody will see it. Uh, when you s install the K16, it asks for a password, and this is just that password there. If I want to change it at any time, I can do that right here. Uh, one of the good things about K16, it has a screen capture mode, and I can set it right here to 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 5 minutes, or 10 minutes. It's better to have it set at 15 seconds because it will take them all the time. Uh, you can get those screen capture reports sent to your email account so you have remote recording. Um, it's probably best to have it set to 2 or 5 minutes. That way it's not so big. Or maybe if you don't want to get too many per hour, you can set it to 15 minutes. Um, 2 minutes for me will be fine. Uh, no, actually. And you can send those to either your SMTP account, which you would have to set over here on the right side. You'd have to know your server, your username, and password. Or you can use Gmail. And that way, all you have to do is just sign up for a Gmail account, input it in there, to send the report to email, uh, email authentication required, and then you put it in again, your Gmail account, and then you put your Gmail password right there. And all those uh, screen captures are sent to your email account. And when, once they're sent to your email account, they're deleted from the computer, so that's where your copy will be. So if you want to keep them on the computer, you might not want to use this, but it's a great way to store them without actually having anything on the computer you're monitoring. You can send a test report after that and make sure it's working fine, and then you can just hide it and run it in Windows Startup, and it'll start automatically. Anytime you do have reports on the computer that you want to delete, you can just delete them right here. And after you're done with all your settings, you just save it right here, and that's it. So next we're going to take a look at the View Screen Cap feature, and that's located here on the left-hand side. Just click on the icon, and you'll be taken to the screen cap that the program took while it was working. And here you'll see that I was surfing on the web, and I was actually at MSN. And I was just going through that, and it just takes a picture of the whole desktop, so that way you're never going to miss anything. And then I went to Amazon.com and everything was taken there. And this is when I was in my Gmail account for the Gmail that I use with uh, K16. So these are pictures of all my screenshots that were sent to me at this uh, email account. And this is where I signed in. You can see my email right there. And that was my password. My, the keystrokes for that password would have been collected by the program itself too. So you could look at those in the view keystrokes. And that's where I was at Gmail. And this is when I was at Google. And I was searching on protect children from online predators. So it takes all the screen caps. And you can look at them by starting at the beginning and clicking next. Or you could just go over to the drop down box and just click on any of them that you see here. And if you want to, you can just use the down arrow or the up arrow and just keep going through them. And then they'll show them in time. You could also open the folder and it'll open up the folder that these screen caps are captured in. And you'll be able to look at those in your favorite image view. So it's pretty easy to use and along with the keystroke feature, you should be able to get all the information you need. Next I'm going to show you the view keystrokes feature. You get there by clicking on the icon on the left hand side. I'm going to expand the window and you can take a peek at what I've captured on the computer that I'm monitoring, which is my own obviously. Um, but here in the notepad program, a uh, letter was typed out. Hi, how are you today? What did you do today? We went on a trip down by the lake and had a picnic. It was a fun. That's just to show you that anything that was typed will be captured. I can show you right now by bringing up Notepad. This is a test. This is a test. And once we get through the rest of it, I'll show you that again and then you'll see it right at the bottom.
body. Uh, and then we went and we saw some more. Somebody was at Lava Light. Somebody put in their password. You'll see that they even capture the special keys such as backspace and enter. So if somebody puts in let and then backspace, that means it's only let and then they put in F need again. So uh, there would only be one F in that username. And then they put in my password, uh, our password. If we scroll down some more, you'll see that we have the same browser window. They went to Gmail, then they went to Hotmail. They put in their email address, my email at hotmail.com. Then they tabbed over, and then you put in the this password as the password. And then we'll go down further, and then we'll see. Go all the way to the bottom again. And this is what I typed in the notepad. This is test. This is the test. So everything is captured. If you use this with the view screencast, you'll be able to get all the information that you need, the incoming and the outcoming. Very simple to use and then very quick to get used to and it becomes very uh, powerful with. Next, I'm going to show you the Gmail remote report. And all I have to do is just sign into my Gmail account and I'll have all my reports sent to me by the program. Uh, so if I click here, you'll see that I have seven attachments. Uh, I had my settings set uh, for five minutes, so that means that the uh, email reports will come every five minutes and they're erased from the K16 program every time they're sent. So you never have a bunch of reports on the computer and a bunch in your Gmail. So it saves a lot of space on the computer you're monitoring. So if I just click on one of the view but, uh, links here, then you'll see that I have a screen cap of someone going to Lava Light. And I close that and uh, do another one. And then this was the Google search I did earlier, and it's the exact same one. And that was sent to me after. Close that up. And you can see when I go back, I have a whole bunch of them in my uh, Gmail account. And they're sent every five minutes, like I said. So uh, Gmail uh, gives you a lot of space. So I'm only using 1% of my space on my account. So I can keep a lot of reports, and then I can go through really quickly and delete anything I don't need either. So if uh, you set up K16 with a Gmail account and just put in your password, it would be a very quick setup, and you should have no problems whatsoever. Next, I'm going to show you the event section. You just get there by clicking on the question mark on the bottom left side. Uh, it'll bring you up to the website uh, within the actual window. Uh, it has the instructions on how to use the K16 keystroke recorder. It'll show you some example screen tap, download the software, or you can purchase it. You could also download it from download.com, do a search on K16 keystroke recorder. We would prefer that you went to the, or surveillanceware.com. Uh, we have a review up on the site there uh, with the score at the bottom explaining what the features are, the same as in this video. So uh, take a look at surveillanceware.com. So I end up giving the K16 keystroke recorder an 8.5 on the surveillanceware.com website. You can see here that's a score out of 10. The reason for that is that the screen capture tool is easy to use in conjunction with the keylogger. You get pretty much all the information you need. It's an easy install, it's easy to use, easy to hide. It's a quick in and out if you need to do anything like that. I'm using it to monitor my son, so I can just use it unhidden all the time. I just keep it on whenever I want to. Um, but if you go to the review site, uh, go to surveillanceway.com. You can click on reviews and see all the reviews that we've done so far. Or you can just go back to the K16 keystroke recorder page and read everything else that I've already shown you in this video. So take a look and good luck.